Jesús es vivo. Él viene pronto por, nos, por nosotros que ama a Dios. Jesus Christ is coming soon for those who love him. But Jesus Christ is going to judge the world in righteousness. Él va a tener juicio en este mundo por los vivos y los muertos, the living and the dead. Yo quieren que conoce a el Señor en tu vida. Porque hay muchos en este mundo, en este, o muchas personas en el mundo que siempre viven con religión, religion. But what about the relationship? ¿Y el, y el relación con Dios? ¿Dónde está la relación con Dios? Él, él los ama. Él no quiere que nomás tienes religión. Él, que, él quiere que tienes más relación. Alta de la religión. God wants you to have relationship above religion. El Señor Jesucristo es Dios. Hay muchos que no creen que Jesús es Dios, no creen, no creen que Jesús es Dios, pero el, wait, how do you say answer, respuesta, or, respuesta, right? Respuesta, la solución es que Jesús es Dios, Jesus is God, Jesus Christ, who is God, came as a man in the flesh, incarnate in the flesh, incarnate as a human. Because if you read John chapter 1, el libro de Juan capítulo 1, dice, John chapter 1 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Ahí dice en Juan capítulo 1 que Dios, que Jesús es el palabra. Jesús es Dios. Jesús es el vivo palabra de Dios. Jesus Christ is the living word of God. God who came in the flesh, which is Jesus. Hay el Padre, hay tres, y los tres son Dios. El Padre, el Hijo, y el Espíritu Santo. There are three. Three in one. God. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. But we're out here today because we love you and we care for your soul, and we want you to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the I Am, who He says He is. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Señor de Señores y el Rey de Reyes. Y Él viene pronto. He is coming soon. Que estás, prepara que estás preparado para Él. That you're prepared for Jesus. Porque todos en esta vida vamos a dar cuenta. All of us are going to give to an account of how we lived our lives. Todos estamos responsable 
y vamos a estar en frente de Dios. We're all responsible. I'm gonna. We are all responsible and going to stand before the Almighty God. You could mock. You could scoff. You could. You could roll your eyes. You could make whatever gesture or language you can. But the Bible is the Bible, my friends. And I know times are going to get harder. I know it. Believe me, times are getting harder right now as we speak. Now there's things going on where they don't want you to wear a shirt or a hat or whatever, shirt, hat, or sweater that you wear that represents Jesus. You could go to a mall and they might tell you that's a disturbance. You're, you're, you're disturbing the peace. Just because you're wearing something without even speaking, now it's becoming an issue where, where people get bothered or they report authorities and, and tell them like, hey, you gotta get this guy out of the mall because he's wearing a sweater or a shirt that represents Jesus, but yet that shirt, that shirt that the person is wearing that represents Jesus, that person's not even, the person wearing the sweater is not even speaking. The person is just there displaying Jesus, representing Jesus, his name, displaying his name. That is all those people would do. If they're not led to speak, then they're not led to speak. If they're led to just wear a sweater or a hat, like this hat that I'm wearing right now, or this sweater, I'm wearing right now, you're not telling me anything. That's fine, and I thank you for not telling me anything. Que no me estás diciendo nada porque yo estoy, tengo este suerte, este suerte y cachucha. No hay nada malo. Ahí no. But, pero el cosa que es malo es que los personas pretenden, that the people pretend to serve God, that they pretend to serve or love God by wearing this, thinking that, oh, I'm gonna get a free pass. Que vamos a tener un pass por teniendo este cachucha o suerte. Pero el persona, los personas están teniendo un mal intención, a bad intention. That's where it becomes a red flag and an issue. If you're wearing this, if you're wearing a hat like this or a sweater like this for the wrong reasons, then you, ha then you will answer to God. You will be in trouble with God if you're wearing a sweater or a hat that represents Jesus, but you pretend to love God. You fake it. So if you're wearing a sweater that represents Jesus or wearing a hat that represents Jesus, you, you gotta love him. You gotta truly love him and not pretend. You gotta really love him with all your life and have the right intentions. You could tell me that you could tell me I'm a fool, that, that I'm not of God or, or whatever it is, that I'm not a child of God because I'm wearing this, but I don't wear this. Wearing this does not prove I'm a child of God. The intentions that I have prove that I'm a child of God. Not because I wear a sweater, not because I wear a hat. That's not my validity. That's not my validation for being approved by God for wearing a sweater or a hat that represents him because God knows the heart. God knows the fruit. God knows my intentions. It's not about what you, it's not, it's not ultimately about what you wear, but where your heart is for God, that heart. And yes, there are people out there that don't like saying Jesus. Well, honestly, even though you may not like hearing Jesus, if it makes you feel better, I could say, if it makes you feel better, I could say Yeshua out of respect for my fellow Jews or those who speak Hebrew. If you prefer Yeshua, I respect that. But Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua means salvation. And not everybody speaks Hebrew. Not everybody speaks English or Spanish. Todos. No hablamos el mismo lenguaje. We don't all speak the same language. 
We can't just push a certain language at people if they can't understand. What happened to breaking language barriers? If someone doesn't understand your language, you could at least learn to speak their language to reach them. You never know. God may use you. God may give you a language to speak that they speak. And they don't speak your language, but you could speak their language. Look what happened with the Tower of Babel. I'm going to say this again, address this again about the Tower of Babel. I've mentioned this before, but this is really very important and essential that I talk about it again, the Tower of Babel. If you look at the Tower of Babel, what happens with the Tower of Babel? The people who built that tower, those personas que estaban haciendo construcción con ese I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but this building, the people had bad intentions. The people thought that they could work their own way to heaven by building a tower without God's help, without God's support, without knowing God. You could call me strange, you could call me crazy, I don't care. Because the truth is, that's what the people did. The people chose to do things their way without God's approval. And that's why the people built the Tower of Babel. They thought they could make it to heaven with their own efforts, but failed. And I don't want you guys to repeat that history because history does repeat itself, but God would not want you to repeat the history that the people did by building the Tower of Babel out of their own efforts to go to heaven, work their own way to heaven without God's help, without God's salvation, without God's grace and mercy, without eternal life. So based on that example, who are we to say that we can make it to heaven out of our own efforts? We can't make it to heaven out of their own efforts. We cannot make it to heaven out of our own efforts. We can't work our way to heaven by ourselves. We need God. We need His Son, Jesus Christ. We need God the Father, His Son. We need God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ, to get to heaven. And the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ, not by building a tower such as the Tower of Babel to get to heaven on your own. But through Jesus, you can get to heaven. El Señor Jesús es el único solución para ir, para ir a el cielo, to go to heaven. So the answer is not the Tower of Babel. Building a tower is not going to get you to heaven. But, coming to, but having Jesus, coming to Jesus, living for Jesus, having Jesus in your life, is what will get you to heaven. A relationship, ultimately, bottom line, a relationship with Jesus will assure that you get to heaven. But you must continue to live for Jesus. I mean, there is something going on today where people are like, once saved, always saved, or I'll make it to heaven no matter what, or whatever it may be. But you could say, once saved, always saved. If you're genuine, and you believe in once saved, always saved, you're saved and genuine, and you believe osis, or once saved, always saved, siempre salvado, siempre salvado, yo creo que lo dicen en español. Eso sí, hermano, gracias but something like that. So if you're truly genuine and you believe in that, let me tell you something. You got to continue. Siempre necesitas a continuar en el fe, en la fe, in the faith. How can we say that once saved, always saved when we're doing nothing for God, when we could continue to live however we please? Many people try to justify that doctrine and say it's not necessarily about that or maybe there is some sort of understanding to this doctrine whether it's Calvinistic or antinomianistic but that doesn't mean we could just do whatever we want and expect to go to heaven 
We gotta live for God. We gotta, we gotta live for God. We gotta serve God. We're not saved because of our works. We're saved because of Jesus, not because of our works. We do good works. Hacemos buen derechos. Hacemos buen trabajo porque tenemos Jesús. We do good works because of Jesus. We have Jesus. We are saved because of Jesus. We do good works because we're saved. We don't do good works to be saved if it's becoming clear to you. And if it's not clear, I hope that God shows you what needs to be revealed in your life about these things and that it's about relationship over religions and, and many more things. But um, God bless you guys. And if you need prayer, if you need prayer, we're more than happy to pray for you. So God bless you guys. And remember that God loves you always, that God the Father loves you that Jesus Christ, that, that God the Father loves you, that Jesus Christ who is God, Jesus Christ the Son loves you, or Yeshua, Yahweh, however you say his name, loves you, the Son, his name, the name of the Son, Jesus, hallelujah, Yeshua. He loves you, and also the Spirit, the Spirit loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. El Espíritu. El Espíritu Santo. El Espíritu Santo te ama. El Padre. El Hijo. Y el Espíritu Santo. El Espíritu Santo. Los tres son Dios. Los tres son Dios. The three are God. And I believe what I believe because of what scripture says. And if there's something I don't understand, that is why we have God's help. We have God with us. And when Jesus, and when you give your life to Jesus, Jesus Christ can baptize you with his spirit. Jesus Christ, when you surrender to Jesus, when you surrender to God, He will baptize you with His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. So God bless you guys, and peace be with you, in Jesus' name. God bless, shalom, and amen. Praise Jesus. Glory to God, brother. Glory. Praise the Lord. As my brother Alex was preaching, we preach Christ. And Christ crucified, the one sent by the Father thousands of years ago. Because God so loved the world, He sent His Son. Fulfilling all prophecies that were said about Him. Full of grace, full of truth. But the problem with humanity it says, it's because that it saw the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ and they killed him because he was righteous, because he is God, because he has been given authority in heaven and in earth to forgive sins. El pecado. But all have fallen short of the glory of God. 
There are none righteous. There are none that seek for God. But my friend, we are out here to compel you, to remind you that as much as God loves you, he loves himself, he loves his holiness, he loves his name, he will be blameless, he has given you a way out. Unlike us that make excuses, even though we are evil and we still say we are good, God knows who we are. And God is willing to forgive you. And not just forgive you, but to change you, to change your heart, to change your mind, to the mind of His Son, Jesus Christ. He is to risen. You according to the image of His Son. He is risen. God is holy, and those that seek Him will have to worship in spirit and in truth. But my friends, you have to be honest with yourself. We can't, we live in an age of delusion, telling each other that we're good, that we don't need God, but my friend, you are a walking zombie without Jesus. You are dead as you are alive. You need eternal life. There is life after this. There is a demonic world. There is sin that is entrapping many. Los pecados. And because of sin, you will have to pay the price, but God sent his son, El hijo. his only begotten, unique son, fully God, fully man, to take the punishment that you deserve on the cross. El pago el he died, was Morir. dead for three days and resurrected on the third day. Está vivo. El Señor. He is risen. Jesus. He is alive. And he can become alive in your heart. Vivo but en, you must come vivo to in die. Tu you vidas. must come to Jesus. And repent of your sin. Arrepienta sin. My friend, it's sin that has put Jesus on the cross. You have to hate the sin. You have to be tired of it. Jesus, Jesus mordió en el cruz, mordió, mordió, Señor, el Señor Jesús estaba, estuve en el cruz, el Señor Jesús estuve en el cruz y se resucitó, resurrected, él es vi, él no es muerto. Él no es muerto, pero Él es vivo. Él es vivo. No muerto, pero vivo. Él es vivo. None Aleluya. Él viene, viene pronto. Rapiéntase. Y que tienes una relación con Él. Él te, él te ama. Souls are being tormented. Jesus. El Señor Jesús. Because they did not repent. Jesucristo. Because instead of honoring and glorifying their maker, they glorify themselves. The Lord Jesus Christ said that unless you repent, you will all likely perish. Unless you turn away from your sin, you will know you by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You cannot keep ignoring reality. The reality is things are getting worse because sin is not just prevalent, but it's promoted. It's celebrated. My friend, it ought not to be like this. We were supposed to live in honor, in respect for each other, in love for our Creator.
God will not be mocked. Friend, the law of God is good. So honor your father and your mother. So I know that God is Lord. His law is beautiful. His law is holy. His law is good. And our selfishness and our lust. They destroy our souls. They decay our morality. And if we don't wake up and turn back to God, turn back to Jesus Christ, we will, you will die in your sin. God provided the way out. It's not by works. It's by the righteousness of His Son, Jesus Christ. God, fully God and fully man. If there was no Bible, then we go. you could easily call out God because there's a law in your heart that tells you whether you are doing good or bad. See, either you have the Bible or you have the law. It doesn't matter. There, there is no getting out of the situation. But God has explained himself through the Bible, his righteousness, his holiness. And he is giving you a way out. But my friend, if you don't accept this gift, this beautiful holy gift of being imputed righteousness by God's Son, what else will await you than hellfire? What else awaits those that have rejected God's only holy Son? My friend, don't let sin blind you. Cry out to God today. Cry out to God and tell Him, Lord, have mercy on my soul. I've been selfish. I've been violent. I've stolen. I've lived a life of sin and rebellion. But Lord, I can cry out to You, have mercy on me. The Lord is ready to forgive. He loves His creation. But you got to cry out to Him. Believing in Him is not enough. I'm sorry. But it's the truth. You can't just say, oh yeah, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. And live a lifestyle of rebellion. You have to come to the end of yourself, to the end of your sin, and turn to God. He is not far off. His ears tend to those who are broken spirit, who have humbled themselves before God and acknowledge who they have been, how they have been living. This life is nothing but a vapor. It comes and it goes. Tomorrow is not promised. You make your plans. And God laughs at them. Because He knows in the end, either you will pass away and face Him, or He will return and face you. But the day He comes back, it's game over. The book of Revelation says that many will not repent, even though they go through the tribulation. My friends, let's not be unwise. It wouldn't be a wise thing for you to deny such a gift. The gift of God is so beautiful.
Jesus' words are life. Righteousness became a man. God became a man. And he was full of the Holy Spirit. He became more than a human might have come to through Jesus Christ. Perdónanos. A perdonar. Nothing was made but by through him. 
He holds all things together. God bless you guys. Please take the time. Think about what we've said. If you've heard the message from us, God does not will that any would perish, but all would come to eternal life and have eternal life through his son. God bless you guys.